All right, so here we are again. Today's video is gonna be the last one in the RIP Beast series, I guess we could call it. By now, you all know what happened to my car and uh, the process that we've gone through up to this point. If you don't, uh, I suggest you go back and, and look at those videos if you're interested. I'll link them in the description below. I have been going back and forth with the insurance company and I can happily say that we have come to an agreement and a settlement. However, what I did not initially know that I had on my policy was something called replacement car coverage or something like that. If you've been following the channel for a little while, I did a video completely outlining, you know, how much my previous C63 cost, uh, how much money I put down, how much I financed, and what my payment is, and so on. So my main concern has been, what's gonna happen with the money that I initially put down on my previous car? Seeing how I've only had the car for two months, I was worried that I was gonna lose that initial down payment. And here is the conversation that I had with the lady from the total loss department. Like the main thing that I've been thinking about is because of the money that I put down and I financed, you know, $80,000, that because that got me to a certain payment that I was comfortable with, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's what mm -hmm. I've been wondering at. So like if you guys, uh, obviously because of the gap insurance and everything, took care of my old loan, I understand that and that's great. But then if I don't have any money left to put down, you know, cause I saved a long time to get, that's a lot of money for me. Right. I wanna be right. at a specific payment as well. You know, so that's right. that's been my concern. Let's just say it it, it turns out to be eighty thousand. Let's uh -huh. just say, right? So you owe eighty. Uh huh. You would get back that eight thousand. Okay, we pay off Mercedes Benz Financial. Okay, I got you. Eighty thousand. Uh huh. You get paid out. Now, what we have to do though is we pay out our settlements. Let's say you're owed eight thousand back after all this is done. Uh huh. Um, we pay that out in an 80 percent point we give you 80 percent of that until mercedes financial gives us the title to the vehicle because ultimately we need to sell it, sell it for salvage you get the whole eight thousand back but we do it in a split so after explaining my initial concerns she told me she was going to call me back which she did the day after with tax and state fees uh -huh. so the total that we come out with at the very end of all of this is $89,599.87 is what the settlement amount is for you. Okay. That's with consideration of the new car. That's with um, the deductible taken out as well. Okay. Now from that clip you guys just saw, uh, I might not seem super happy because if you know me personally, you know that too many numbers, uh, at one time will just confuse me. I suck at math and uh, it takes a little time for me to process everything. So basically what that means is that the auto replacement coverage that I had on my policy completely covers a new car that is very similar to the one I previously had, which is absolutely awesome. So the settlement amount is $89,500 as you guys could hear yourselves, which means that it covers my money that I put down as well. So for the new car that I am going to get, I will have the same amount of money to put down, meaning it puts me in the same payment situation that I was in on my previous C63. So this is really, really great news. I was worried that I was gonna be losing money, which is something that I did not want to happen. But before we continue with this video, I wanna give a special thank you to you guys. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen this already, but we hit 200,000 subscribers on the channel today. For me, that's kind of hard to grasp. I mean, that's a lot of people that show a confidence in me by subscribing to my channel and pretty much you know, waiting for a new upload because they have liked the content that they see. So a big, big thank you to you guys, especially with everything that's been going on on the channel, what happened with my car and stuff. It's, it's nice to know that, you know, uh, I have this support from you guys. So big thanks for 200,000. I guess we're aiming at half a million now. So let's see how long that takes. I, I got 100,000 in January and now in August we're at 200,000. So this is really, really awesome. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Now, for those of you who have been following the channel for a while, you know that I went to visit Shane from Inchain Designs and Troy Sowers to get paint protection on my car. It will be expelled from Shane. He's the one who does the protective films and then the ceramic coating from Troy. So I posed a question to my insurance company if this would be covered as well. I put a 
um, pain protection program on that car. Like, uh, it's called Expel. It's like an invisible mm -hmm. film. It's on a full mm -hmm. front on the hood, the front bumper, and the side mirrors. And then I did a ceramic coating on the car as well, just to protect the paint. And it, it'll pretty much always look glossy. And it kind of beads off rain and water and stuff like that. Um, is that something that I'll be compensated for as well? So that's not something that they had on there from the beginning. No. That's something you added. Right. You have, was there an invoice associated yeah, I, with I that? Yeah, have, I have receipts and everything for that. Yeah, if you have that, let me, let me run that by my supervisor and see. Now, I'm happy to say that she did call me back today and they let me know that 80% of the cost for the Expel paint protection and also the ceramic coating will be covered. So I won't have to be paying for that a second time whenever I get my new vehicle. So I actually want to give a special, special thank you to Erie Insurance, which is my insurance company. They've been great to deal with. And during my time as a car salesman, I called a lot of insurance companies myself uh, for my customers sake to verify insurance and so on when they purchased a new vehicle. Erie Insurance was always the easiest ones to deal with. Um, so this isn't some paid product placement or, you know, I'm not being told to say this by Erie Insurance or anything like that. Um, I haven't mentioned who my insurance company was in the previous videos uh, regarding this whole mess that happened. Uh, but I am now because they have been great and I'm very grateful to have them. I will, of course, continue on uh, having Erie Insurance uh, insuring my new car. So that brings us to the new car. Now, I was under the impression that everyone pretty much understood what I wanted because I made it very, very clear. Yeah, I had extremely bad luck with my previous C63S. Uh, however, I love that car. That is still my dream car and that is what I want. So I am not looking at any other brands. I want another C63 and I can confirm that there is a 2018 Mercedes-Benz AMG C63S Coupe pay that will be coming to the channel. I'm not going to give up the exact spec as I mentioned in the previous video. However, as I also mentioned in the previous video, don't expect any drastic changes in scenery. Now, one thing that I did not want to do was to go through an ordering process again, because it is between a three and four month waiting period. Now, I just don't want to go through that again because it sucks to wait on a car that long. And there was another problem with that because I didn't want to order one I had to find one that was already on a lot and that is pretty hard I haven't found one that I want in the spec that I want you know equipped the way that I want so there is actually a car on its way it's currently on a boat that was originally not for the dealership that I'm dealing with Bobby Ray Hall Mercedes however they managed to trade for that car so it is now the car that I will be getting so the car will be here in the beginning of September. That's when it hits shores. However, I will be going to Sweden in the beginning of September as well and be gone for about 10 to 14 days. So we're looking at taking delivery of the new AMG C63S middle of September, I'm hoping. If the 2018s are completely regulated by then and they're legal to drive on the road. So yeah, there you have it. We've gone through this whole process and we've landed finally. Uh, the insurance company has been great. Uh, they're giving me back full amount that I paid for my old car. So I'm completely covered. A new car is coming. We hit 200,000 subscribers today and I feel really, really good. I love you guys. I love your support. I love the community, everyone that's been uh, backing me through this uh, whole ordeal here. I know it's a first world problem. Again, I've said that many times. It, it's just a car, I know. But for this channel, it does mean a lot. Uh, for me personally, it means a lot. It's my dream car. And, uh, you know, I know a lot of you newer subscribers have come to the channel because of that car. So the C63 videos, they will continue. And I actually had three modifications ordered for the previous car that still have not arrived that will be going on the new car. So that'll be a lot of fun as well. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. Enjoy the positive news for once. I know the past three videos have been kind of, you know, Debbie Downer feel to them and stuff. And I don't really, you know, enjoy that. But, you know, it is what it is. Happier days are ahead. So thank you so much for watching. If you're bumping into the channel for the first time through this video and you haven't already and you want to, please subscribe, 
Now remember to follow me on Instagram as well if you want to stay up to date with the channel before it's actually posted on YouTube. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye.